Let me start off this video by saying that I know that everybody watching this has some stupid in their Twitter drafts. You know, sometimes you just compose a tweet and then you're like, ah, maybe I shouldn't tweet that. And then you save it to your drafts, you know, save it for a rainy day or even just for your pure, uh, oh my God, your pure viewing pleasure. And me being the Twitter queen, I'm very guilty of this. Like I tweet literally every second of the day, it's bad. Speaking of which, go follow me on Twitter if you want some funny, relatable tweets. But for anybody that doesn't follow me, maybe you're new here, maybe, I don't know, that's the only thing, maybe you're new here. So if you're new here, then I'm gonna be the first to let you know that I love Twitter. It's probably my favorite social media app. I tweet a lot, and I have a lot of tweets that just don't make the cut. And so I thought, what better way to bond with my audience, you guys, the chickies, than to read my tweets that just never made the cut. So here we are, exposing my Twitter drafts. I've done this video once before, and I'm gonna do it again right here, right now. I really wanted to do a part two to this video because one, I genuinely loved making that last video. And two, I feel like the last video did not get the recognition it deserved. I was like, this is a great idea. And then I put it out and I was just waiting for the views to rock in. And it just wasn't happening. And I was like, I don't know if people don't like it, if I didn't promote it enough. I don't know what the deal was, but long story short, it was underappreciated. So here we are. We're doing part two and you guys better like this one. And if you don't, I guess I'll just cry myself to sleep. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up stay subscribed to my channel and click the bell to turn on notifications when you click the bell you turn on my notifications and that way you get notified whenever I upload really stupid videos like this one anyways with that being said I'm gonna go to my Twitter and we're gonna go to my drafts and we're gonna read my Twitter drafts so uh, let's do it all right my Twitter profile is here we're going to click on the little thing to compose a tweet drafts Let's go. I got my luggages and took this picture of them as if I was a mother at her third grade son's trombone concert. Why do I like not even remember putting that as a draft tweet? Long story short, it's a picture of me taking a picture of my new luggages and you just see me in the background and I look ridiculous. I'm just like leaning back trying to take the picture like you look great, sweetie. Wow, absolutely phenomenal. Aw, this one's kind of sad. Quite a feeling when you feel like your effort isn't enough. I don't know what I was feeling on this day when I went to tweet this, but you know what? Facts. Sometimes like I just do a lot in a day and I am such a people pleaser. I love making people happy and doing things that will make people happy. Yeah, that's, that's the same exact thing. And then I try so hard sometimes to please people and make people happy and all this stuff stuff. I don't even know what I'm saying. I try so hard to make people happy and put all my effort into things and then I feel like sometimes I don't get that effort back from people. And it's kind of sad. So I don't know, maybe something happened on this day where I was just really feeling my feels. I don't know. Glad to know my dad supports my spending habits and there is a picture attached. I text my dad and I go, my luggage was only 18 pounds. Room for shopping. And he goes, awesome. And then he goes, Awesome. Exactly like that. My dad usually does not support my spending habits, which is the funniest thing. He's always the one telling me to save my money and I'm always the one being like, but did you know I'm drinking alcohol legally every chance I get abroad? If you guys did not know this, I am 20. Turned 21 in June, so we got a little bit to go, but who cares, I'm still a rebellious teenager and I still drink sometimes. <laughs> The normal drinking age for like everywhere else in like the UK and Europe and stuff is like 18. So every time I go abroad, it's like my time to shine. And it's funny because like if I post a photo and I have like a mixed drink and I happen to be abroad, everyone's like, oh my God, you're underage. And I'm like, ha ha, sucker, I'm not in the USA right now. Oh, wait a minute, right after that, I went to go tweet, ha ha, JK, what's wine? Mm, tea. Okay, I don't know what the f this tweet even means. What if your phone camera quality is actually the best quality anyone has ever seen, but it's just our phone screens that can't process how crystal clear the picture is? I don't know what I was thinking when I was going to tweet this, but I make a valid point. Like what if phone cameras actually have like the best camera you have ever seen, like crystal clear, pristine quality, no matter what, but it's just all the phone screens that keep up. And that's why we can never get a clear photo. Apple, I'm coming for your ass. 
It's people like this that give influencers a bad name. I swear some of us have normal human decency. I don't even know what this was about. Oh, okay, someone tweeted, said you influencers are insane and it's a screenshot of a Yelp review for a restaurant this Yelp review was something along the lines of this girl was like oh my god I was an influencer and I went to this restaurant and I didn't even get a discount like some shit like that some entitled shit. and I was like what the f reading this because I feel like influencers do have like a really bad name put on us because there are some influencers out there but then there's ones that are really good and I mean that's totally up to you to determine if you think I'm a influencer or not however I would never walk into a restaurant and demand something for free or something discounted because I am an influencer nor would I get pissed for them charging me full price for something because I am an influencer like hello if anything I feel like influencers make more money so you should be at least tipping well for like these people like you know a lot of restaurants have like you know college kids working minimum wage well, don't ask for free sh and then get upset when they say no. Anyways, it's the people like that that give influencers their bad name. So, yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is funny. Why didn't I tweet this? So it's a quote tweet and there's a video and the video is like a girl's hand with like a huge rose tattoo on it. And then she's putting this like foundation on top of it that's like super full coverage and covers up the cut, the, the, Oh my god. It's super full coverage foundation and it covers up the tattoo completely. There we go. And I quote tweeted that and said, gotta whip this shit out for Thanksgiving with the family. Okay, but actually, honestly, the majority of my family is very supportive of like my tattoos and shit that I do. Like my mom and dad are totally for it. Some of those aunts and uncles, I don't know though, I don't know. <laughs> they think you get tattoos and piercings and all of a sudden it makes you unprofessional and it's like, Huh? Next tweet. Everyone's just been an a lately. Like everyone I speak to pisses me off and I know it ain't me. People are just stupid. <laughs> God for Nina, could you be any more of a of a bitchy? Anyways, I don't know what was happening on that day that I was just pissed at the world, but um, I guess everyone was just being a on that day. There's a girl blowing up on TikTok because she does TikToks of her New York City apartment and I recognize her place right away. I could literally see her building from my window. Yeah, so there's this girl on TikTok that was like blowing up the other week because she was doing like, Ayo, New York City check. And it was like her apartment and it was super nice. And then like she goes out her window and you see her window and everything's super nice. And immediately when I saw her window and I saw her apartment, I knew exactly what building she lives in and I could literally see it from my window. This girl lives like 10 blocks away from me. It was really funny because she was like blowing up because Ayo, New York check. Wow, we're getting back to sad boy hour. This tweet says, how could someone be so sad in New York City. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna be totally honest. I was going through it like a week or two ago. Just not everything in my life was too pristine. I was really stressed out about things, really upset about certain things, and it was just a lot. And it's so true though. Sometimes I truly feel just like so lonely living in New York City. And it's crazy because New York City is one of the biggest, like most crowded places there's so many people that live here there's so many things to do here so many people to meet yet living in such a big city like this you just tend to feel so alone sometimes and it's actually really sad and like really upsetting that's how i was feeling the other week and i was gonna tweet that out but like i didn't want to make other people upset so i kind of just kept it to myself the girl at dylan's candy bar gave me my candy for free because i only got a small bag with two sour belts in it and she said that's all and i was like yeah i just had a sweet tooth after a really long day sweet tooth i said sweet tooth i think i just saved this tweet as a draft because the tweet isn't completed and i think i realized I wasn't gonna be able to complete the tweet in one tweet, so I decided to like discard it all. Long story short, I did go to Dylan's candy bar the other week and I walk in and I just needed something sweet. I had a sweet tooth, I had a really long day, and I go in and I put like some sour belts in the little, you know, plastic baggy things that they have. And then I go to the checkout and it was about only like a dollar fifty worth of candy. And the girl at the counter's like, this is all you're getting? And I was like, yeah, I just had a little sweet tooth. Like I had a really long day and I think she could tell I was kind of just like 
sad. And she literally is like, oh my gosh, I could tell you had a long day. Go fill this damn bag up, it's on me. And I was like, oh my God, no, like I'm all good. And she was like, no, seriously, like, Fill it up, it's on me, don't worry about it. So shout out to the girl that works at Dylan's Candy Bar in the Hudson Yards Mall. You are freaking awesome. Literally, at Gregory's Coffee, do you put crack in your coffee? Okay, actually though, whenever I have a cold brew from Gregory's, I feel my heart literally bursting out of my chest. I don't know what it is. It's mainly just like their cold brew coffee. Like it's really caffeinated. This is nasty, but I live in New York City where people wipe their bare ass on the subway poles. So, this was a reply to a girl that tweeted me. Because there was like this whole tweet thing going on the other week. Somebody tweeted out a picture or like a video of the touch screen things at McDonald's. And everybody was just like, oh, America is so behind. We don't have these. So, I quote tweeted it and I was like, I don't know about like where everybody else lives. But like, I guess because I live in a big city like New York City. But we've had those like touch screens at McDonald's for like forever now. And some girl replied to me and was like, you shouldn't use those touch screens. There's been like traces of like, human feces found on the touch screens from people's dirty hands. And she tweeted me like an article about it. So I quote tweeted her and I was gonna tweet this out. I don't know why I didn't, cause this is really funny. But yeah, I said, I live in New York City where people have wiped their bare ass on the subway poles, which is completely true. There is literally video evidence of people wiping their butts on the subway poles. My immune system, Strong AF. On the other hand, I'm an idiot and I forgot to put deodorant on before walking out the door and it's way too late to turn back now. I remember this day. I hate that feeling when you walk out the door, you're walking, you're like, doo -doo 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 -doo. all of a sudden your pit starts sweating a little bit and you're like, F just a 20 year old living in New York City F around. I love that. That is me. That is the definition of me. Just a 20 year old living in New York City just around. I'm just out here having a really great time. Ever since, oh, more New York City tweets. Ever since I moved to New York City and grown a bit older, I've been able to grow into my skin and really form who I am today. This is so true and I actually had this conversation with my dad the other day because like you guys know I'm from Long Island, New York. If you didn't know, now you know. I'm from Suffolk County. What's up? And so I grew up there my whole life and I still do love Long Island. I love go back. I love going back and visiting. I can't talk today. But I just always knew from a very young age from like I, I would say maybe when I was in like the third or fourth grade like taking like little trips in and out of the city once in a blue moon with my family I knew that I wanted to live in New York City I was very dead set on it from a young age and I was like this is where I belong so of course I go through high school I go through middle school all that stuff and then I graduate high school and immediately I moved to New York City and ever since living here for like the past three years I feel like I'm able to just just like express myself way more and I've gotten so much more comfortable in my skin and really shaped and formed the person that I am today. And I'm very thankful for that and I love it here and I love the atmosphere and I love the person that I am. So yeah. I'm just so conceited. I love me. I didn't mean it like that. Alright, this is the last tweet. This is my most recent saved draft and it says, one day I just really want to be the badass aunt who lets her nieces and nephews get away with everything. Tattoos? Sure. Piercings? Sick. Wanna go hoe around? F yeah. I mean, this is very true. If you talk to any of my friends, they will tell you that like, I aspire to be the aunt or the aunt, however you say it, that just lets her nieces and nephews do crazy sh when their mother won't let them. I have an aunt like that. Shout out to my aunt Lisa. When I wanted to get tattoos, I went to her. When I wanted to get piercings, I went to her. Like I said, my parents are very supportive of my really stupid decisions or like my piercings and tattoos and all that stuff. They're totally supportive of it. But originally I was really nervous about it and everything. Uh, so I go to my aunt Lisa first cause she's like the badass aunt that has like piercings and tattoos and was the rebellious child of like, my mom's side of the family. A shout out to my Aunt Lisa. I want to be like you when I grow up. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up right here. Before I wrap this video up though, I want to let you guys know that probably when this video is out, I would have already announced that Bitchy is coming. Bitchy is my merch line and I hope you guys love it and I'm going to go more into detail about it on Friday. Friday is going to be the official release and Friday I have a very important and special video coming out for you guys in 
relation with bitchy so i hope you guys uh you know look forward to friday click the bell to turn on notifications so you get notified when my video goes up friday because it's really freaking important and cool but aside from that i'm going to go i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like i said click the bell to turn on notifications and yeah oh and of course make sure to go follow me on all of my social media my social media is beauty chicky basically on every platform and if you want to see my really stupid tweets make sure to follow my twitter especially you will not be disappointed i promise all right but i'm going to go i love you all so much and i will see you on friday so with all that being said ciao ciao chickies Mwah.